Hello, this is Sebastian from socialanxietysolutions.com. I am a former social anxiety sufferer and a social confidence coach, and I help people with social anxiety feel calm and relaxed in social situations so that they can have a good time, enjoy themselves, joke around, make connections, have a great social life, and all of that kind of good stuff. And I've been teaching people how to do this um, for quite a long time. My first video on YouTube is stems from 2009, so we're nine years in, and my website from 2008, and I've been teaching people uh, a specific technique called EFT, stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. It's a psychological form of acupuncture, but instead of using needles, you tap with a tips of your fingers, specific acupressure points in the body. It looks really weird, it looks really bizarre, but what it does is it releases excessive negative emotion, brings you back into emotional balance, and you relax. Okay, so that's a quick intro. Now, I am currently um, in the middle of releasing a free video series where I summarize 15 years of um, insight into social anxiety and the solutions to it. And I've um, you know, I've overcome my own social anxiety and I've coached hundreds of socially anxious clients since 2009. I've logged close to 5,000 coaching hours and, uh, you know, if you're doing that much focus on one particular topic, you'd be stupid not to see the patterns. And so I'm talking a lot about the patterns that I've seen, of what, what, I what, what I've seen doesn't work and what I've seen that works over and over and over again. And... Um, I teach all of those things in this free video series. The first video um, is called How to Overcome Social Anxiety Without Forcefully Facing Your Fears. This, so this is a different approach than the mainstream approach that says change your thoughts, um, be mindful and forcefully face your fears, you know, progressively face your fears. But I say forcefully because the approach that I'm suggesting doesn't require you to face your fears in that kind of way. Instead, you internally look at why is it that you have such excessive fear of rejection or embarrassing yourself or blushing well because you learned it and you can unlearn it with the tapping how to do that is what i go into in these training videos the second video that i've released is called five main reasons people fail to overcome their social anxiety using the tapping and i do then dive into excruciating detail on how to exactly um you know, do that and, and what, what psychologically is going on when you're not getting any results and what the solutions are to start getting results. So it's a really kick-ass video. Um, it's four videos in a video series. Two have been released so far, two more to come, uh, and it's, it's, it's not going to be online there for always. So, you know, go and have a look at it while you can. Now, in this week's video podcast, however you're consuming this information, I just want to go over some of the, the top comments that I got under those videos. So, here we go. First one. Pierre-Luc. I hope I'm saying that right. Hi, I wanted to say that this technique helped me release a big amount of tension in my body and I can literally feel it. I'm surprised. I struggle with social anxiety all my life and I have a lot of painful memories and this technique you are sharing seems to work. Thank you. All right, just as a quick note, so in the first video, I guide people through an exercise of this tapping. And so he reports on how he's feeling better. You know, big amount of tension in his body released. That's a common experience. Okay, next one. Now, I don't know where this um, person is from. I'm assuming it's from Russia, and I don't really know how to read this, but I'm just going to give it a go. Uh, Bianca Ochenko. <laughs> anyway, if I'm butchering that and you're watching this, sorry, please let me know what the, uh, what the, you know, how you pronounce that. Hello, Sebastian. When I was listening to you talking about bullying, it gave me goosebumps. Before tapping, I felt angry and frustrated about my social anxiety, 9 out of 10 strong, and it went down to 4 out of 10. Thanks a lot. Great. Um, so people are sharing how uh, the tapping that I've guided them through has released some of the feelings in their body, which is what the tapping does. Very awesome. Some people are sharing their story, like this person, goes by the name of Forever Faithful. Hi, I want to share my story. The first time I felt so nervous is when I was in fifth grade. 
I had to recite our school mission and vision and sing our national anthem in front of my teacher. I felt like my hands were shaking, sweating, and I couldn't breathe properly, but I still made it. Since that day, whenever I have to recite something or stand in front of the class, I feel nervous. Also, I felt really nervous when I delivered my graduation speech in the sixth grade. My voice is kind of shaky, my hands are sweating, and I felt kind of numb, and going down to the stage, my knees felt weak. As I entered high school, it got worse. Now I'm in the 11th grade. I still suffer and it's hard for me during first day of school. And it's common for students to stand in front and discuss their presentation, which I really hate. I feel so, so nervous that my hands get numb and shaky and my heart starts racing. We always do presentations and next week it'll be my turn to stand in front of the class and speak. I'm skinny since I was a kid and now whenever I meet a person they always point out how skinny I am. They even ask me if I even eat. When I go to the board and answer, I will hear someone talking about how skinny I am. After speaking in front of the class and going back to my seat, there's a classmate who told me that I look weird and I look sick in front and that made me so uncomfortable. It's hard for me to accept and love myself when, all, when I can hear all those things. My body has become my biggest insecurity and when they talk about it, I feel so down easily and I'm going to overthink again. I get too much affected by the negative comments I get from people. I wish I could just overcome this easily. I'm aiming to still be on the top of the class, but with anxiety, I don't think I can make it. Now we've got quite a conversation going on under these videos as I've asked people to comment so we can have you know a community going on and I'm replying to all of these comments. So here's, here's my reply um, to uh, Forever Faithful, whether it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> Hi, your brain is still reliving the trauma of that experience, you know, and I'm referring to the experience that she mentioned uh, where she was in fifth grade, over and over. And there's a lot of self-acceptance work that's in store for you if you want to overcome this problem. When you are okay with your body, other people's comments won't bother you. And when you're not reactive to these comments, the comments usually stop pretty quickly. Once I became okay with my ears and I was no longer reacting to people's teasing, the fun got, about, got out of it for them. They no longer looked cool when they teased me. And that helped. Thanks for sharing your story. Stay tuned. Okay, and then I uh, you know, picked out some of the comments of uh, people that have gotten results using the tapping over time, which is cool. So, such as uh, Missy Mark. Uh, sorry, Missy Marie Mack. <laughs> Who lies more, men or women? Laugh out loud. I've been following you for years uh, now and your story and work is so inspirational. I have made great strides in my social anxiety. I can go into social situations now not reeling with anxiety and negative thoughts. I'm more relaxed and don't worry so much. Love your vision and bring it to the masses. It is so needed. Thanks so much, for all you do. So that's very cool. Um, next is from the same lady. Uh, before but this is a comment to the second video thanks a lot for the video it gives me so many valuable tips on how to tap on painful memories I've been working with resistance and SEEs for half a year and this month I noticed quite a tangible shift I'm a teacher of English mostly teach adults and I was afraid of my students 7 to 5 and now it's 4 to 2 and goes to 7 only when there's a triggering situation I'm really grateful for all the videos and podcasts and then, so, you know, uh, I had an old client pop by as well, John Farrar. Seb, great video man. I really like the time you spend on what social anxiety actually is. The new animation is great as well. Thanks for all your time and effort. The sessions that I did with you in the past changed my life and set me free. Keep up the good work. And then, um, Steve JD. Thank you for this video, Sebastian. You explain things so clearly and make me feel positive about defeating my social anxiety and negative thinking. I've had enough of feeling inferior to everyone, ugly and pretty much a failure, and avoiding people because of it. I don't want to live in such isolation anymore. Looking forward to the next video. And then finally, this is a comment to the second video by Kate Strong. Sep, you landed the plane. Okay, here's why I like these longer videos, because you talk so much and cover so much ground that you say things you've not thought to say in smaller bites on YouTube. I picked up some real gems here. What you said about social confidence skills, that when your body is screaming at you to run, fight, hide. Firstly, I never thought of hiding as part of the alarm system, because I can get that feeling even being on the computer or say Facebook. 
And the biggest gem you said that I just didn't even think about, and it's crazy after doing EFT for so long that I never thought about it, shows you how scared I am being in my body. Is you were talking about physical sensations being aspects. The biggest thing for me is living my life in 3D. I find the physicality of life hard. Gravity for me is like wading through the mud. And I never thought to tap on the sensations as aspects. I usually relate to the emotions or the anxiety. But I also don't tap on how I feel about the sensations. Boom! Thank you so much. <laughs> so she's referring to how we have emotional reactions to the physical sensations that we have in our body. So when you as I understand it at least. So when, when you have your heart race like crazy and you think about that and you get scared, then you have an emotional reaction to the bodily sensation and that's something that you can tap on as well. Anyway, so uh, we're in the middle of all of it. It's very exciting. There's a cool conversation going. If you haven't checked out these videos yet, go to uh, the following link, bit.ly forward slash social confidence training. So that's B I T, so Bravo India Tango dot uh, L Y, so that's Lima Yogurt forward slash social confidence training, one word, and that will bring you to the uh, to the videos that are live uh, for you right now. Again, this is the best of all my work together. Um, if you know, watching this is going to really uh, empower you and you're really going to find a lot of benefit from it. It's worth your time. Go check it out and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.